the rise of student conflicts and physical altercations at GCHS, Principal DePew made an announcement regarding physical conflicts with students at GCHS. Mr. DePew urged the student body to work together to resolve conflict and offered a reward for the entire school if fighting subsided. Granite High World Publications is hopeful for a resolution to the violence in our school. After the announcement, Granite High World investigated the issue by speaking with multiple faculty and students to get their opinion on the matter. According to Principal DePew, he believes our students at GCHS can learn to deal with and resolve conflict. Alright, what initiated the request to resolve conflict in a different way and me making an announcement was we have had, seems to be more altercations in a shorter span of time recently. Um, and we're trying to curb that and we're trying to help kids resolve conflict in a more diplomatic manner. Um, fighting is not the answer. Very often students are suspended or expelled. Uh, students are arrested. Uh, they have to pay fines. Uh, it actually makes their life more difficult uh, than just that few minutes of fighting. So hopefully we can help students learn new skills to resolve conflict because it's an important skill as you get older. You're going to have disagreements, you're going to have moments where you do get angry, but you have to come up with better tools than fighting. So hopefully that's the direction we can go as a student body. Social worker Angie Bodden has been approached four to five times a week by students with conflict. In regards to fights and conflict resolution, I can speak more about conflict resolution. I do feel like this year there have been more people coming requesting conflict resolution, which is kind of the flip side of the fighting because often these are the people who are trying to um, clarify things so that there are there aren't fights. Right. And it does seem like this year that we've seen quite a few people requesting conflict resolution, which is a positive thing. Amber Noland, a GCHS sophomore, was involved in an altercation at the high school. I'm Amber Noland and I am a sophomore student here at GCHS. Being in the fight affected my high school experience so much. Like, I, w I got suspended for five days. When I was out, I missed so much learning. Like, all I did was sit in my room on my bed and like, that was it. Like, I did not do a single thing. Herschel Johnson, a GCHS senior, provides a clear view about conflict resolution. Hi, my name is Herschel Johnson. I am a senior at Granite City High School. Um, what are causing these fights? I think it's social media because um, most of the time when people have an opinion, they take to social media to express themselves about it instead of um, rather keeping it to their self or maybe if you're just going to talk about it with a friend or something, just like keeping it in the group. Um, in this school, you could go to your guidance counselor because they always help. I know my favorite is Ms. Dawson. She helps me with all my problems. and. Um, yeah, or don't go to your friends because your friends are always ones to be like, well, you should, you know, solve it your way. Don't do it. 